All right, now the clever stuff. You'll see this in a sec, watch this. So, here's what you do for cooking and such. We don't have enough food at the moment, so um, it won't be as effective. Let's do some hunting. Um, how long till these potatoes are done? Oh, they're almost there. We might make it before we run out of food, but we'll see. So what you do is, you go to production, and you get a butcher's table, and you get a uh, field stove. So then, you get furniture, and you get stool, and you put one here, and one here, and one here. And then you go zone area, stockpile zone, you put one there, put one there, and you put one there. We're gonna build a fridge next door. And then, in this stockpile zone, you set it to clear all, priority critical, and you have um, vegetables. And in this one, you set it to clear all, critical, and you have meat. And what that does is, anytime you've got vegetables or meat, your workers will bring it to this location as soon as they can. It'll go right here, okay? So if, if this is running low on vegetables, they'll bring it right here. And you'll see that when the chef is working, if you have these little stools, this stuff is within hand's reach. So he never has to walk over here, pick stuff up and walk back. He just stands right there, cook, 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 cook. And then you tell him to drop it immediately and he puts it in this stockpile. And this storage zone, you set the priority to low, clear all, and you allow uh, meals, so that's finished meals. So this is when he's made meals, he'll put them there and he will stack them up here and the other workers will come and collect them and take them away uh, and put them in the fridge. But he never leaves this location because you're gonna set his cooking order to uh, drop on floor. You'll see it, you'll see that the beauty of this system. Jesus, there's a mad animal. It's a tortoise. Better posse up. Keep working for a second. It's not quite here yet. Get that tortoise. Get it, Bodega. Good shooting. That was my bullet. It's going for Floop. Stand there, Floop, and it'll have to walk over these rocks very slowly. Damn, this turtle is hard to hit. Out the way, Frankie, because Bodega's shot might hit you. Good shooting. Right, you. Just hold your fire. Bodega. Let, let Floop finish it off with the knife. Alright, good job. How badly injured is Floop? He got bitten on the right leg by a tortoise. Could be worse. Alright, so now we set a bill... Cook a simple meal. Oh. Blimey, look at all these. Veggie mush. Fine meal, what does it need? Cook a dish assemble with care from both veggies and meat. Hmm, well it's just a basic meal. I'd, I guess that's veggie mush. Cooks veggie mush from vegetables. We haven't got vegetables yet, have we? We've got, what are these? We've got some berries. Do we have some? We will have some meat once we finish hunting. So if we go to a bill and details, let's try it anyway. And if you go to details, um, drop on floor, they just drop it behind them, I think. We'll check that, but I'm pretty sure they just drop it straight behind them. Right, don't dump it, because we're going to add a bill. I always have this butcher creature, and I just say do forever, so anytime you've got an animal worth butchering, just do it. Uh, now, who's our best cook? It's Floop, isn't it? Floop is our best cook, so Floop is going to cook. What's Floop doing? Floop is asleep. Bodega's acquiring meat. So Frankie's going to go butcher this creature, and she should put the meat right on this bench here, and she does. Sadly, I don't think we have any vegetation. That is kind of an issue. 
I thought the berries would count, but they don't. Let's see what Fluke does anyway. Yes! Alright, so watch this. I'll put it in real time. So he's cooking away. Oh. So he puts it right there. He only made one. Oh, he's had to go get something to eat. I'm not sure why he hasn't moved these berries over. Maybe berries isn't listed on this stockpile. Storage, foods, vegetarian, agave fruit, berries. Hmm. They should have moved it to that one, but they didn't. I guess they didn't have time. But they would normally do that. So he's now storing the meals here, so he's just cooking fine meals. You can see how it would be quicker. But um, we haven't quite got the uh, the vegetables yet. So, interestingly, I think that's the maximum stack you can have. Um, but these guys, as he makes meat, as, as he makes meat at the butcher's table, it will be taken there. And normally this cook would just be sat there with all the vegetables to hand. Um, but as it is, because Floop is working alone, he can't do that. I'm not sure why he's not hauling these uh, berries straight away. He should have done that straight away. You're a fool, Floop. Oh, so she's going to bring the meat there. So as you can see, she's transferring it. And she takes the meals away. And he just keeps going. And now, now here we go. So she's putting it there. So he shouldn't have to move after this. Where are you going, Floopy fool? Oh, he's still harvesting berries. But we're making fine meals now, y'all. Alright, so this will work! What's... Where is he going? Oh, he's having a beer. Of course, fair enough. So I think I just need to prioritize Floop a little better and that would work. Where's he off to now? He's hauling things. So did I tell him to do it until he had five? Oh, I only told him to do it five times. So if I set this to do until you have 15. So let me see if Frankie can do this. One. Two. So look at that. She's just boshing away. She's not even moving. She's a cooking machine. And they just bring it. Alright, now we're now we're rocking and rolling. Look how fucking fast this is. So now if we get Floop doing this at night time, they can wake up, walk into the breakfast nook, and food is just waiting for them. They still haven't built a fucking roof over this. I don't know what's wrong with these guys. A wanderer joins. Richard! Let's find out about Richard. Delilah Richard, actually. A female villager of Bodega's Posse. She's a crack shot. Did reasonable in a fight. Not very sociable at all. In fact, she's ugly. Richard is somewhat ugly. Uh, she ain't good with animals, but she's one heck of a miner. She can do a bit of research and she enjoys crafting. It's a passion of hers. She's an explosives expert. So she... Uh, she can't do any kind of dumb labor. That sucks. So she, in other words, she won't do uh, plant cutting, hauling, or cleaning. So she's going to be kind of a indoorsy type. Ooh, muffalos. We need to kill these muffalos. All right, let's start uh, trying to get a power, power going up here. And I'll see, because I, I normally have a refrigeration thing around, like, this kind of area. I want to see how deep this uh, this is. I, I kind of want to put the fridge somewhere useful so it's easy to get the food, but we might have to build the refrigeration thing outside. The problem I've got with building the fridge and any other vital things outside is one fire and it wipes the whole lot out. But Dagger is an excellent shot, as we know. So the chunks of spacecraft are good for... I think they have components, which are re which are these things. They are very important. We also, we need some light. Let's get a to couple of torch lamps going in here. Yeah. 
Richard isn't a night owl, is he? He's slow. But he's iron-willed! So let's see what it gives you. So it gives you components. It gives us eight components and some steel. That is really useful. I do like the way the game gives you this stuff. So some people have said, um, don't build up wealth too early or you'll become a raid target. That's not the way the game works, apparently. Um, at all, which, uh, which is good to know. So when they're digging like this, I'd like to get a little light down nice and early on, otherwise they get depressed being in the dark. Back to hunting! A squirrel has become self-tamed. It's been designated Squirrel 1. There he is. Alright, so another thing I do with the animals is uh, I have an animal area that I allow them in. Um, so if you go to Zones, Area, Expand Allowed Area and select Animal Area 1. Um, I, I keep the animals outdoors. Otherwise they go a bit, a bit nuts running around in the stockpile and such. But make sure, if you have a dog or something, um, that it has access to kibble. Bodega is taking care of these muffalos. We've got a lot of muffalo leather now, which is good. Make some clothes out of muffalo leather. Kill them all, Bodega. You've got to kill the entire herd, because if you just kill one, they'll get the other ones will take revenge. That's no good. There we go. Finish it. Good shooting. Oh, we got lots of meat. We've got to refrigerate this shit. So, uh, how long until it spoils? One day. Oh my god, we're getting raided. What do we got? Rob. Rob is, uh, actually a decent guy. I hope we can get him to join us. Is he coming straight away or is he going to prepare mentally? He's coming at us. Head on. Nope, he's preparing. Okay, Rob, you can do this. There's only three of them, and they got guns, but you got a club, and goddammit, you're pretty artistic. We really need to get the fridge built, because otherwise this meat is all just going to waste. I shouldn't have hunted the, uh... Shouldn't have hunted the, uh, muffalo until we had the refrigeration going. That was a waste. Because this meat is all going to spoil now. Here comes, here comes Rob. Oh, she caught, caught him a good one there. That'll do it. No! Oh, nuts. Oh, we could have saved him. It was that one final blow from the uh, the human fist to the right leg that killed him. Oh man, he was alive there. We could have tried to convince him to join Bodega's posse. I have noticed that the Cassandra storyteller, generally speaking, the fifth person you get to join you is on the run from um, a group of people. Bodega took a mild injury there. What happened to him? He got bruised and a cracked spine. Dang, that club shut. So interestingly, I'd set this uh, storage, this stockpile zone to critical, but they still took me to the other place first. Well, we brought the harvest in at least. We got some potatoes. All right, actually, this is better. Now there's some on the side there, so he should just do it nice and quick. Just before this meat spoils, we might be able to get it, get some of these meals out there. Because the meals will, they'll only last a day. We might have time to whack down a little fridge. But we haven't even got the power built yet, God damn it! Shoot! Ugh, why couldn't we have focused on mining? We'll build this as the fridge. Fuck it. Floop is not happy. Hideous environment. What's he in pain from? Just these old scars? Wow, he's in 23% pain just from having some old scars. That's pretty impressive. Frankie's drinking a beer, relaxing socially. We're going to need to brew some more beer is what we're going to need to do. So, 
I'm sure some of you watching this will have said, Oh god, Perian, you've done, you've done really, you're so inefficient, but this is at least a nod to efficiency, isn't it? But we, there are things we should have built first. We did all this hunting, we got all this food, and it's going to go off. It's kind of a waste of time. We've got a couple of days. We've got a couple of days to build the uh, the food. I still don't know why this isn't covered. Floop is praying. I pray that Bodega falls on something heavy and gets real ugly. Frankie leaves him and comes back to me, his rightful husband. I think if we whack down a... Uh, I really like the fueled generators, um, but a lot of people go by solar power. I think I might go for some solar. We'll whack down a couple of solar. And a battery. Hopefully the battery will last you in the night. We might get some power out of this now. So it's not going to work till tomorrow, but then we might be able to get some power up and going. Maybe a wind turbine. Apparently you can put them near solar plants and they work fine. So if I put it there, that might actually be pretty good. Heatwave! Ah, oh, shoot, that's all we need. All this food's going to spoil! So we set this to clear all and foods, and you set this to storage, no food. They should move it all. Definitely don't allow rotten. Now this should work with the wind turbine, because the solar panels are flat. I think it's only tall things that affect the wind turbine. Blocked by poplar tree, so that tree is blocking it. Can you... Break down in the wind turbine. We'll fix that right up. So off it goes. So now we're generating power. This, you need to ch set the temperature to like... Um, I set it to like minus two or three. And then it'll get there. So at the moment, the temperature is dropping by about a couple of degrees. The only problem is we don't have an airlock of any kind. So we need to build a little... Because I fucked up. Major break for Floop. What's his problem? Oh, it's boiling hot. Yeah. How hot is it? Good lord, it's 50 degrees. Let's all get indoors. Cool off. Floop! Get in here. Whew! That reminds me. Let's expand the home area. Anywhere that's sort of vaguely near our houses, we need to worry about when it comes to fires. Even though I don't think it'll burn there. Yeah, it's pretty good. If, by the way, if you, um, if you want to protect stuff from fires, one of the things you can do is you can cut down all the plants like the grass and everything that, that's nearby uh, to wooden structures. Um, and that will prevent the spread of fire, like a fire break. It's actually pretty effective. I tend to do that around my crops as well. Uh, it's very quick for them to cut the grass. Um, and it just means if a fire does break out, it doesn't spread to your, your crops. I mean, as you can see, you can even do this while the fire's coming your way. You can create a fire break. I do that a lot. We need a source of joy, and I think horseshoes is the game. Alright. We're kind of rocking and rolling. 
Yeah, not too bad. We need to work on the fact that there are some trees in our houses and such, but, uh... We've got food, you know, we've got enough meals, decent steady supply of food, now we've got the farm going. We are lacking meat, which might explain why we're not making any new meals, so keep cooking veggie mush. Uh, do until we have 20 of those. Uh, actually, more like 30, just keep making them. Flute handles that out, Frankie's gonna do that. So is she gonna favor that area over this one? Oh, this is priority low. But I don't want that to be the uh, the main one. But I'm not sure why she's carrying the food. Oh, uh, shit. What is the reason for that? I think if I set her to... Oh, um, God. If I set cooking to one and hauling to four, maybe she'll do that. She shouldn't do hauling. She should just do cooking. Hmm. We struck compacted machinery. That's nice. So she should be dropping it right here and just cooking a bunch of them. But instead she's storing them in here, I think, because it's refrigerated. I think if I set her to not hauling... She's still doing it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Alright, I got it, I got it, I got it. I hadn't set it for that bill. So, see how much more efficient that is. She just cooked six meals? Five meals. In the time it would have taken her to cook one previously. So she should just... Because she, she hasn't been carrying food to that place, but she should grab enough berries now. She's not. Alright, so obviously this would normally be a stockpile location, but it's not. Oh my god, they've got the plague. Shit. We got trouble, folks. Frank's got the plague. The wind turbine's broken down as well. So Frankie needs doctoring. Good, good job, Floop. She's got minor plague. She's building up an immunity to it, hopefully. Oh, there's some traders. Floop, trade with Gaines. He might have some medicine or some shit. What's he got? Ah, uh, Shit, he ain't got nothing. Yayo, that's all they're carrying. Medicine. We will take all of your medicine. That's it. Shit, I fucked up. I can't put a door there now, that's stupid. 